Incoming transmission. Picture this. A recording studio somewhere far, far away. Welcome, Watchers of Illusion, to my Castle of Confusion on the 3rd of June. We're looking at Kid Icarus on the Nintendo Entertainment System. And it was developed by Nintendo themselves and released in 1987. And as you can see, it's a rather jolly little game. Uh, never played this one, actually. This is a first time for me. And I've just gone into a room that had nothing in it. Great. I'm not sure what the point of that is. Right, so... It's a bit of a strange one, it's a platformer, but you can go through the screen if that makes sense. So you can go through the right hand side of the screen and end up on the left, and vice versa. Obviously only where there are gaps, like coming up now, I can go through the screen, there we are. Okay, so let's have a look at all the aspects. So first of all, we're going to look at the graphics, and I think they're quite cutesy to be honest. Um, enemy characters look fantastic, I really like those floaty eyeball things, they look quite cool. Um, but yeah, it's very colourful. And in the tradition of the Nintendo, I'm not going to be able to get those, am I? Okay, anyway, um, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's fairly colourful, isn't it? quite like this. Main character stands out quite well. Um, level design, pretty, pretty good as well. Always good to have a nice level design. <clears throat> Ooh, oh, okay. So it only seems to scroll one way. I think once you've uh, once you scroll one way, it, it doesn't allow you to go back the other way if that makes sense so uh, I guess that's something to be aware of anyway um, controls are really nice uh, it's basically left right down will duck and up will enable you to fire upwards with your arrows then you've got uh, jump and you've got attack so a very very simple setup but then the NES controller was always a simple controller. I always preferred the, the NES controller over the uh, Master System one. I never liked that eight directional pad that the, uh, the Master System had. It, just, it just never was very comfortable. I've got some, uh, some good thumb blisters off those. Anyway, control wise it works. It's responsive and it works very well indeed. So there's a plus for Kid Icarus. Uh, so there you are. Sound wise you've got this nice music quite jolly tune there and you've got sound effects as well which are always nice to have in a game I have both together as well which is always nice so uh, what you can see here is I'm collecting these uh, these hearts and I'm not sure if that's your health level or whether it's I seem to have a health bar and oh he's just spazzed out what what what's the matter with him um, it's like a grim reaper dude and he's just sent these tiny little reaper dudes after me um, See, I'm not sure if the hearts go down if you get hit. I'm going to have a see if I can check it next time. I wonder if I'm going to kill him. But he seems very excited, doesn't he, when he sees me? I mean, who wouldn't? Uh, anyway, um, 32. Okay, I think, yeah, I think you do. Oh, my. No, I didn't. I didn't lose any hearts there. Okay, so I'm not quite sure what the purpose of that is. Looks like I've got an energy bar, though. So that's always nice. So we can pick up. Oh, that re that replenishes your health, which is always nice. Ooh, look at this room of. Oh, I'm not sure what I got there, but never mind. So uh, yeah, playability. It's quite nice actually. Uh, jolly little platformer. Now, as I can say, it's probably going to be frustrating uh, a little bit because once you've got to this sort of point in the screen, if I fell off now, I would die. Despite the fact that I have actually just jumped up there in the first place, but never mind. Um, but. Hey, it's, it's game design, it is what it is. And the jumping... There we go, he's really, really excited. Um, it does take a little bit of getting used to going through the screen. Uh, from the left to the right and the right to the left. That takes a little bit of getting used to. And the enemies can be a little bit hard to hit sometimes. So be just be aware of that. But it's one of Nintendo's uh, quite early games, wasn't it? Kid Icarus. It was almost like one of their classics. Uh, I think it's like a sort of... Another game I want to look at, actually, with the Nintendo is... What is he doing? Um, I want to have a look at Metroid as well, because I've never played Metroid, so I'm going to try and get my hands on that for us to have a look at at some point soon. And, oh, poo. On the enemy looked genuinely shocked that he killed me there. Oh, well. 
Now here's another thing, every time you die you have to start from the start. Now that's going to annoy some people, but it's... I don't know, I don't know if it's done by level or whether there are restart points, I'm just not sure. I haven't seen any yet, but that doesn't mean they didn't exist. Uh, sorry about reviews last week. Guys, I, it was my birthday last Friday, so I didn't have much chance in the week to do anything as it was the lead up and all that stuff. Uh, I've just turned 43, so it's kind of nice to be playing these games again. So, uh, hopefully, you've all had a good week. Hello to all my new subscribers, by the way. It's nice to come back from a little break to find that I've got more people on. And thanks for all the comments as well. Always nice to uh, communicate with you lovely retro gamers out there. It seems like uh, Fire and Ice was a, a, a bit of a, a good choice for the last review. I can't believe that we're up to, I think we're up to 400 and... 490 subscribers now? That's pretty good. But if you like the channel and you like your videos, then please help out and like, share, subscribe, all of that, all of that jazz. And uh, let's help make this channel a nice big retro gaming channel. Because I am just a one-man band at the end of the day. But I enjoy what I do and I enjoy reading your responses to videos that I have done. It's always good. But yeah, I, I, think, um, I think this is quite a nice game. I think a lot of people would quite enjoy this. Especially platform enthusiasts. Um, I mean, age age range. I'd say, oh, I don't know. I suppose younger players would would enjoy this. I think they might get a bit frustrated with the uh, the whole sort of business of falling down the screen or the screen pushing you off and killing you. But other than that, it's a it's a fairly decent effort from Nintendo. The uh, trademark cutesy graphics there are in check. The cutesy music, which I can guarantee is probably going to annoy you after a while, to be quite honest. Oh dear. Is that infinite lives or something? I think they seem to do. Uh, do oh, maybe that's what the hearts are. I don't know. There we are. We've got. Uh, so, oh, by the way, if anyone knows what the hearts do, let me know. Because I'm not actually sure. <laughs> they don't seem to uh, benefit you any. Maybe if you get a certain amount, uh, it in increases your um, health bar, perhaps. I don't know. But uh, you guys are on standby. Let me know. Did you play Kid Icarus on the NES when you were uh, a young'un? Have you played it recently because you're a collector and you have just added it to your collection? Let me know. And your thoughts? Did you enjoy it? Did you think it was a big pile of poo? Or, you know, is it one of those classic staples that you must have if you own a NES? Let me know in the comments below and I will be responding to you all as usual. Now, as you can see, it's a... It's a multiple scrolling uh, platformer, so you can go up, down, left, right. So it is a scrolly, scrolly, shoot 'em up type affair, and it works really nicely. Um, it is only one player as well, so you've uh, unfortunately you can't bring your mates into play unless you did a turn-based sort of affair. I guess uh, you could that, that might work. Do it by life, so you do life, your friend does a life, that sort of thing, You, I mean technically any game could be multiplayer if you really wanted it to, you just got to figure out what the rules are. So you could say, right, well I've, I'm going to take control of this life and you take control of the next, or I have this game and then I'll try another game, it's, it's up to you. But you can turn any game into a multiplayer game, it, it, you, your imaginations can do the rest. But anyway, this has been Kid Icarus on the NES. I've been Rich and I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in. As always, your support is always appreciated. So thanks very much for that. And uh, I will catch you on the next video very soon. You keep it retro and uh, bye for now.